Cana. This guy's a single father. Uh, his life is dedicated to these two children. He gets them up every morning, he gives them breakfast, he clean, washes their uniforms, he gets them to school, and his only form of income is selling watermelon by the slice in the street. And so, of course, he, he could not, he is so, so supportive because he knows that his children will not have to sell watermelon by the slice in the street. And but and he gives us as much as he can possibly give. If I ever need help with something, I call him and I say, look, he, can you come over and help me do this? Or can you come and fix this for me? Or can you come and... And he's right there right now because he's so happy that his children now have the ability that he never had um, to, to a better life. So you're not only helping these people, but you're helping your children be around others students who have parents like yourself who will go beyond what's necessary to educate them. Yes. Yeah, I mean we we, we it's 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 a it's a whole package. We we live in the community, um, and uh, I've lived there since nineteen ninety seven and as part of the community I've tried to put a, a give something to that community um, and and this is what this is what we do in order to give it back and we find that, that other parents are appreciative of that and they'll give something back and if the more that that I don't force the parents to give any particular thing I, I, I think that that can get difficult so but we encourage the parents to become involved and many of them do Many of them slowly, slowly become to realize, basically because they see that we value them. And so once they feel valued, then they're much more um, um, eager to, to participate. What I've found with a lot of the poorer people is that nobody has ever showed them that they are valued. Nobody's ever expressed that to them. That Whereas I, I value this man's opinion. I value his opinion. You know, I know that all he does is sell watermelon and oranges, in, whatever is in season. He sells it for one lempira, which is like five cents, and he might only take in, you know, a dollar a day, and and some days he might have a good day for three dollars, and so, but to me, he's a valuable human being. And he knows things and has learned things. He's lived a life, and therefore his opinion is of value. There are many times where his opinion doesn't isn't something that I can use, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. Here we go. This here's another family um, that's on our that's our full scholarship with uniforms, books, and food. This lady here, that's the mother here, she's a single mom. Um, this is the grandfather, actually. Um, the father um, has gone. Now it says the father works outside Cofferdia, but the father has completely disappeared out of the picture. Um, <laughs> the three girls are in the school. The son was, um, unfortunately, um, he, he became sexually active at nine years old. And we, I just couldn't, didn't have the psychologist available to deal with him in the school, and I had to make a, a very tough decision to um, not allow him to stay in school. Um, I've helped him in another school uh, so that he continues to have some education. But the three girls are very good students. This one just graduated sixth grade this year, and uh, I think second in her class, um, in, in, and a brilliant, brilliant young lady. Um, and her mother, the mother is here, she's, um, I don't want to say that she has a mental problem, but she's definitely um, not, uh, you know, not intellectually um, uh, motivated. Um, and her job to, to feed and clothe these children, she washes other people's laundry, and this is her washing machine. Right, so she spends all day 
washing other people's clothes, and probably makes, you know, a dollar and a half a day, uh, you know, maybe two if she's lucky. And she has to feed four children from that. And so it's something that now the daughter, even though she's only finished sixth grade, the daughter with her bilingual skills is actually, I hope that she goes on to high school. I'm unable to take her this year because I don't have a high school. I'm trying to find a, a place for her. But even if she doesn't go on to high school, she will automatically have a job with at least ten times her mother's earning capacity and be able to help the family. And her aim is to help her mother. Her aim is not to go and get rich herself. <coughs>